Hello, people. Happy Saturday, or whatever day it is. I don't even know anymore. They just slip away. Um, I want to talk about something that piqued my interest, uh, and it doesn't affect my team or my team's competition or anything like that, but it's something that really sparked an interest because this is something that we always talk about when it comes to these older quarterbacks. You got your list. Um, going back, now I know that some of these people are retired, but I'm saying back to when Peyton Manning was still playing, back to Eli. Now you got Big Ben, you got um, Breeze, Brady, of course, Roethlisberger, I said Roethlisberger, um, Rivers, is who I was thinking of, and there's a few more, but these older quarterbacks who, not that they're not playing at a high level, but as years go on, that age keeps going up more and more and more and more, and you start to think, okay, uh, when are you going to pull a trigger here and plan for the future as far as replacement? And you've seen the Green Bay Packers do this with Aaron Rodgers, even though Aaron Rodgers has four years left on a big contract. So, and I'm not saying they should have done that. My point is teams are starting to plan for the future. And you look at this free agent, free agency with the quarterbacks, with Bridgewater, Mariota, a um, couple other guys, Rivers, and Jameis Winston, and of course Cam, but Jameis Winston, number one overall pick from, I believe, 2016. Hold on a minute. Let's see. His first year was 2015. So, okay. So, 2015, which five years ago. Um, so, coming out of college, he seemed like a sure thing, right? Uh, 6'4", 231 pounds, just won a national championship, actually somewhat reminds me of Joe Burrow coming out, which, I mean, not saying that they're super similar, but coming off the national championship, good size, seems like a sure thing, that's my point. So, before anybody says, Jameis Winston isn't Joe Burrow, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, look at, coming out of college, size... Um, an NFL expectancy, I guess you could say. So, Jameis Winston, right? I sat back and I'm like, man, you know, I get it. The Bucks got Tom Brady, but Jameis, I think, is still... I, I wouldn't give up on him just yet, right? And I know Bruce Arians was his head coach. And I know Bruce Arians is supposed to be a quarterback whisperer. But Jameis Winston had 30 interceptions this year. That's the worst in the league. Um, but my point, and what I'm going to try to explain to you in this video, Jameis Winston going to the Saints, I believe, is a steal. Okay. Drew Brees decided that he was going to come back for another year for this upcoming season after speculation of retirement. And come, excuse me, coming off of a thumb injury to his throwing hand, I know, you know, he wasn't necessarily hugely affected by it. And Bridgewater came in and did fantastic. But when you're up in age like that, you're coming off of injury, even though it's not a huge injury, it's going to be an injury that affects you. Uh, you need to start thinking for the future. And there's some people who are going to say, well, Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill is not the starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints after Drew Brees, okay? There's a chance that he is, but I'd say it's about 80% that he's not. Um, and I, that's being generous because I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen. But Jameis Winston sitting out there in free agency after you're starting to see guys fall, especially guys like Mariota. Uh, and there was reports that the Raiders wanted Winston as well. But the whole problem here is the interceptions, okay? And he did have some interceptions problems going back to college. But, whoop, knocked it over. Um, look at his stats, right? 
We don't know about the 30 interceptions. His quarterback rating was 16th. There's 32 starting quarterbacks. He was upper half of the 32 in QBR. Touchdowns, 33. That's second in the league, okay? Yards, 5,109 uh, 5, yards. That's first in the league. So, not saying stats are everything because the eye test matters. Uh, I personally believe the eye test matters more than stats because there's certain things you can see that numbers won't tell you. His passing yards, fantastic. Passing touchdowns, fantastic. QBR, not the best, but it's it's solid. It's actually pretty good. It's better than a lot of the really good quarterbacks. Uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, if I told you that he had a better QBR than like an Aaron Rodgers, you'd be pretty surprised. Um, so, the, the interceptions is a big problem, yes. But, what happens if you can get those interceptions down, right? Let's look at his past history as far as interceptions and the numbers there. First year in the league, 22 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Second year, 28 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. 2017, 19 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. 2018, 19 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. And then, of course, 2019, 33, 30 interceptions. So, looking back at these numbers, right? Not saying Jameis Winston was the best quarterback in the league, but he was solid. Um, if you're a stat geek, like some people are when it comes to talking about stuff like this, his numbers were not terrible. Um, his lowest passing, this past year was his highest passing yards number. His lowest was the year before. There was a huge increase there. It was roughly somewhere around like 2,300, something like that. More passing yards this year than last in Bruce Arian's system. Now... He didn't sign a bigger deal with any other team. There was rumors about the Steelers, and their GM has come out and said that's fake, never offered him, never had interest, which I personally think is stupid. Um, and my best friend's a Steelers fan, I've said that. So when it comes to stuff with his team, you know, especially stuff like this, uh, looking for quarterbacks, it surprises me, or replacement quarterbacks it surprises me when teams like the Steelers don't say you know what he had his problems but let's sign him and let's see let's at least get him in and see you know you don't have to sign him to a huge deal but let's just get him in and see no interest no interest. That bothers me a lot. If I was a Steelers fan, I'd be very concerned, especially if you think that Mason Rudolph is the guy. And I know, coming from a Browns fan, that might sound biased, but you got to have a plan B, okay? You can't bank on anything. We got out and got... Um, Man, shoot, I forgot his name. What is his name? Case Keenum. Case Keenum. Not for replacement purposes, even though some people will say that. They're wrong. Uh, got him for mentorship for the veteran factor, the fact that he knows our head coach's system to a T and has thrived in it. You got to have a backup plan, whether if it's older, younger, whether if you're looking for just a one year deal, a replacement, you got to have a backup plan. So the New Orleans Saints already had Taysom Hill, right? They have Taysom Hill listed as a flex player now, meaning he could play tight end, receiver. 
Jameis Winston signed a deal that was less than the majority of backups. C.J. Beathard, Cody, or, uh, yeah, Cody Kessler, Deshaun Kaiser, these guys, RG3. Jameis Winston, who was first in passing yards, second in passing touchdowns, 16th in QBR, signed a deal less than them. The New Orleans Saints have a really good line, fantastic head coach, great receivers, great running back, good tight end. They have a lot to work with there, okay? Jameis Winston does not have to have single digits for picks. If you take his numbers that he had this year, you cut the interceptions in half. That's 15. So we're talking about 5,000-yard passing year, first in the league, 33 touchdowns, 50 interceptions, and 16th in QBR. Those are really good to above good quarterback numbers. So if the New Orleans Saints can take Jameis Winston, who five years ago was the number one overall pick, at his size of 6'4", 230 pounds, at 26 years old, if you can teach him your system, learn behind one of the best in the game, you have your replacement quarterback for Drew Brees for the future. And I know he's older, 26. Joe Burrow is not young. Joe Burrow is, I think, 25. He might be 26 too. I don't know. He's really old. But anyway, Jameis Winston to the New Orleans Saints was an absolute steal. And he was asked, why would you take such a low contract? He's betting on himself that he can take the good numbers, keep them here, and take the interceptions, bring them down here. You do that by learning a system, learning behind the best, get your decision-making straight, learn how your receivers are, what their tendencies are. I think the Saints just stole a franchise quarterback. And I'm not saying the Bucks shouldn't have got rid of him because when you can get Tom Brady, you got to get Tom Brady, especially in a place like Tampa. Jameis Winston, you can't give up on him yet. Okay, don't give up on Jameis Winston yet. There are problems there. I'm not denying that. There are huge problems there. But you cannot throw somebody who's got this much talent away. His problems are his decision-making and the interceptions, which go hand-in-hand. Hand. But when you're looking at the fact that he was second in passing touchdowns, first in yard, passing yards, that says that the talent is there. It just needs to be contained and used wisely. Sean Payton, I think, is the guy who can do this. Bruce Arians, yes, great coach. Great history, Hall of Famer, probably. Um, but I mean, you don't you don't just throw this talent away, okay? Even if it turns out that he can't be fixed, which his numbers over his career say otherwise, because he hasn't had this many problems with interceptions. The highest he had before this year, I believe, was like eighteen. I think I said I don't know. Um, so it's not that he can't be better. He can. It's just a matter of control. Decision making. At this point in his career, for him to be able to step back, look at the big picture, and don't have all the pressure on him, learn. Soak in everything you can. This is fantastic. He's betting on himself. I think the Saints got their guy for the future. I wouldn't give I wouldn't give up on him yet. And I could be wrong. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right, but 
you look at certain situations, and I believe Andy Dalton to the Patriots will happen too. Excuse me. And I think that could be a huge fit because similar things. The system, you can learn, new environment, it's refreshing. You see this all the time where guys have lower production on a team, go to a new team, new environment, new coaching, better system, and they thrive. It happens. So I think Jameis Winston has this chance. Now, he's got he's to do it himself, of course. He's got to be willing and open, which it sounds like he is. But this has potential to be an absolute steal. And as a Browns fan, thank you, Pittsburgh, for not doing this. Because I believe you would have had your franchise quarterback for the future. But you don't. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens with Cam Newton and uh, Andy Dalton. I think Cam... I don't know where Cam's going because that's that's uh, that's quite the situation. So, anyway, thought I'd give my uh, opinion on this. I don't know who out, who's actually going to watch this because unless my videos are Browns or Ohio State, the views are way down. So, um, and I'm not saying I do this for views, but... I want to know, I genuinely want to know from people who see this, do you agree with this? Do you think that Jameis Winston can be fixed? Because I, there's a certain group of people, like, I think that, obviously I think that. Um, and there's a couple people that I was listening to who think the same and then it's like you get some of these guys who are supposedly professional analysts and they think there's no hope. It amazes me when one year of these problems can just throw it all away. So I genuinely want to know. Let me know in the comment section if, you're, if anybody's still watching to this point. Do you agree? Do you think Jameis Winston could be fixed? I say yes, and I say the Saints have their franchise quarterback for the future. Now, of course, he did sign a one-year deal, so they're going to have to re-sign him if they want him long-term. So I think what the Saints are doing is they're saying, you know what, on this contract, let's bring him in. Let's have him in our system. Let's see what he's got. Why not? It's better than some of these other quarterbacks. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.